One of the most widely used batteries in electric vehicles is lead acid battery. In today's video, let us understand how lead acid battery works. Consider a simplified battery cell. The anode is made up of spongy lead PB. The cathode is made from lead peroxide PbO2. The electrolyte is diluted sulfuric acid. The separator is absorbent glass mat AGM. Let us understand the working. Discharging of battery cell. During discharging, when a load is connected across the plates, the sulfuric acid breaks up into positive hydrogen ions and negative sulfate ions. One of the sulfate ion moves towards the anode and gives its electrons, reacts with lead to form lead sulfate. The electrons then travel through the external circuit, light up the load and then reach the cathode. At cathode, the hydrogen ions, sulfate ions react with lead peroxide to form lead sulfate with water produced as a byproduct. Let us understand the reactions. So in electrolyte, Sulfuric acid breaks into hydrogen ions and sulfate. At anode, lead combines with sulfate to form lead sulfate, giving away electrons. At cathode, lead peroxide reacts with hydrogen ion sulfate to form lead sulfate and water. This is the total cell reaction. So, during discharging, electrolyte loses sulfuric acid and gains water. Charging of battery cell. During charging, the lead sulfate deposits are present from the discharging process. A charger is connected across the plates and current I flows from the charger. The water gained during discharging process breaks into positive hydrogen ions and negative oxide ions. The oxide ions react with cathode to form lead peroxide giving away sulfate and two electrons. These electrons then move towards the anode. At anode, in the presence of electrons, the lead sulfate converts back to lead and sulfate ion. This sulfate ion along with hydrogen and sulfate from the previous reaction form back sulfuric acid. Let us understand the reactions. In electrolyte, water breaks into hydrogen ions and oxide. At anode, lead sulfate in the presence of electrons forms lead and sulfate. At cathode, lead sulfate combines with oxide ions to form lead peroxide and sulfate. The byproducts combine to form back sulfuric acid. This is the total cell reaction. So during charging, electrolyte sulfuric acid concentration increases. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, do like, share and subscribe to always. Also press bell icon to get notified.